Hi there everybody. My name is Lauren. Welcome to another video. I'd like to welcome my guest today, Randy. Hi. How are you doing today? I've got my magnifying glass. On you guys are in trouble today. Pictures that we can also look at. It's difficult to see in this, so I'm just letting you watch this, Randy, so you can see it. And then we'll go to to some of the pictures that she has as well. This is the closest that she comes. That's the closest jump that we can see. Okay, she steps in her, I noticed when she's doing the corner, she's not stepping into her inside stirrup to the right. Yeah, it looks like she's getting a little bit off. Okay, let's yeah. see what happens here. Oh, the tree's nice in the ride. way. Yep, it's hard to see. The basic thing is this is a hard film to see. So I'm just kind of yep. looking at shapes. So what I'm seeing is she's going around, because shapes tell us a lot if we can just look at the shapes there. The horse is running through her aids a little bit. That's yep. where she needs to readjust her ride in position and go deeper down into her legs and give her horse that, for lack of a better word, the signal to stay connected with her. It's called a half haul. Oh, this looks like quite a course. It must be an equitation yep. course or a handy course or something. Yep. Look at her ride and great little rider. So let's see how she does this left turn. And what I'm watching is when she goes around the corner, if you watch the back of oh, her, she's done. Her, the back of her saddle, you'll see her seat actually slides to the outside. I play that again and we can see it. Okay, and that's so. common with many riders because they're, they're not supporting their body with the left side of their, keeping their left seat bone over their left leg. Like, no. What, what a nice horse. I like the way you come trotting in there. It looks like you have a plan right from the get go. But, yeah. you know, you've set the stage by trotting right in and just starting toward your first jump. Yes. And looks. Okay, looks so here's the turn. Now, what you're saying about Randy? Yep. That she, see where she's starting to tip her yep, upper body? I can right? see that right here. Yeah. Let me that's just see right. if I can mark that. And that's really because, because, and you see the horse is yeah. starting to fall to the inside too. So the horse has lost its balance because the rider's. And again, this is this rider of a rider of this level. Let me rephrase that. Is at a level where they're doing training and riding. So for this rider of this level, I would like her to use her in, put her, drop her, practice riding without your right stirrup so you learn how to keep your weight in your left stirrup. When you go around a corner like this. So this stirrup. Yes. On this okay. side. Because that's the side she's collapsing to, right? She's that's leaning on her right stirrup. That's right. Her whole body is saying, oh, let me put my weight on the right side where I'm more comfortable. Exactly. Right, exactly. Right seat bone, right leg. And again, 99% of riders do this. So we all have to work on this forever, right? Yes. <laughs> forever. So it's nothing uncommon that you're doing. But again, we're just taking you to the next level. So you don't lean onto your right stirrup. Take it away. That's right. And you yeah. will whine. <laughs> That's the yeah. other Very, very. Don't that. think it's going to be I'm easy. Going to see if you've done this or if you're going to do this, that was a great exercise. Take a video of you, like coming around the turn with one stirrup, and then take that outside stirrup away. It's the outside stirrup that you're going to take away, right? So, um, I'd love to see how it looks. Yes, and again, as you're doing this, anybody who practices this exercise, you have to have, first of all, a safe horse to do it on. I feel that this rider is comfortable on this horse and has control of this horse where she can explore the possibilities again, as I said, first on the flat, then over poles, then slowly increasing the height, you know, because it's, it's very, it's not as easy. It looks and sounds so easy, right, Laura? This oh is yeah, it's not. <laughs> this is Mackenzie and this is her horse. Oh, maybe it's not her horse. I don't know. Oh, he's owned by my trainer, Nori Schaefer. This is a great photograph thank you so much generally speaking overall great photo love it she's not interfering she's well on her way here there's a few little tweaks we'd like to do and in a couple of rides or with some more practice she be, she's well on her way it's beautiful well as we said before after watching her video this she doesn't even look like the same rider in the video because she was much more upright in her video so i don't know what's happened in this one where she's tipping forward so at this time as i look at her she's top heavy and again, this is very slight, especially for a rider of this level. But you know, when the elbows go below the horse's neck, 
like they are in this position, that means you're ducking, you're bringing your shoulders down too far. There should be a helmet between your chest and the horse's thing. But what I notice first when I look at this, and again, it's a lovely, her position looks great. We're just being really picky because that's what we do. Yep. The seat is too far out of the saddle. Yeah. You know, you need to be a down lower where you're more towards so bring the your middle. seat in the middle of the saddle, a little bit down lower and uh, just open up that angle a little bit. Like right here, right. this hip angle, this is the hip angle here. We'd like to see that a little bit more as she brought her seat over the middle of the saddle, brought her shoulders up. I mean, not maybe not that much. Maybe that's a bit too much, yep. but you know, enough. What did we say? Get a helmet in here. Yep. Uh, yep, right in there. And look at, she's got great, great looking where she's going. Like, oh, yeah. She's lovely. So is the horse. Cute. What are some exercises we can do? I mean, I got a few in my mind that you would do with this rider if she came to your for a lesson. Well, she's got some good basics, so this would be easy for her. You know, it'd basically be having her, because she's a more advanced rider, I'd like her to focus on closing her eyes, tying her reins on a knot and putting them on her neck and not moving her position as she goes through, for example, a small grid. Again, starting on the flat. She might notice on the flat, as soon as she comes up to a ground pole, she automatically starts leaning forward in the saddle. You know because she's getting ready to jump for the horse and it could be ever so slight but as we can see with this picture ever so slight turned into her ducking over the horse so that's what i would do first just you know, some just, small grids yeah like gymnastics put with, them your, with your eyes closed on a safe horse this looks like a safe horse and just yeah put that <laughs> you know all you have to do is the easiest way to do it is you put your hands where the reins should be you know when you're doing your release that type of thing place them against the guide the horse start by guiding the horse with your reins in one hand and then one hand on the crest of the neck where your hand should be as you're coming up to the jumps with your eyes closed you know start with them open or slightly slanted so you can feel it all you have to do is put your hand on the neck to keep your body where it should be your body should not make your elbow close right so uh, almost like a pushing yourself yep. pushing yourself away from the neck and keeping, and keeping your legs everything legs coming down yeah your leg and seat and it's a simple fix for a rider of this level well i shouldn't say it's simple because you know it takes a thousand times to it's, get it right. it's really teaching yourself how to feel what's happening underneath okay. you because and this is a mechanical thing she comes to the fence and goes boop she flips so she just yep. needs to become aware of her tipping point is what i call it so when you're feeling yep. when you're riding around you know with your hand on the mane and closing your eyes just feel at what point do you disconnect and fall more forward on the horse instead of deeper into your legs yes agreed totally yeah so i was i was thinking the same thing let's get the two-point position and go over some trot rails and i like your idea of closing your eyes i would just think of just focus, focus on, and relax and focus on the spring and focus what's happening underneath you right. and and even going through a grid on a safe horse yeah we're trying to make sure that people don't go out there and do stupid things but go out there and and you can't see what i'm doing but put your hands on your hips as you're going through a grid or just put your reins in one hand that's a really good idea and do it over one do it over one pole do it over a little cross rail do it down the long side while you're trotting so you can feel what your upper body is doing because that's what i think what's happening here yep. is that she needs to feel what her body is doing and if you're approaching the jump approaching the jump approaching the jump and you and you make the big move instead of the horse coming up to you you make the big move so thank you so much everybody for joining us today and we will see you later now go use this stuff and go hug your horse and what do you like to say randy see you on the other side of the fence yes thank you bye